So I want to say be, that, that there's a trigger warning here. Yes, trigger warning, what I'm about to say. I can't stand the feminist movement. No, oh, I've never been able to. I can't stand it. It has... It has never been about women, just like abortion is not about a woman's right to choose, but a bunch of people get out there and say, I want to kill my baby. It's my right. Yeah. So your feminist movement helped create many of those things. Your feminist movement came in and said, you have a right to work. Yeah. What, how exciting. Um, and then it took a bunch of women out of the home and ended up creating a ton of latchkey kids. Yeah. Uh, which served to, oh, well. How ironic it served the corrupt and the criminals. Yes, it did. Because more latchkey kids meant more kids got nabbed. Yes. But they convinced a bunch of women that you have this right, you have that right. And this is why I can't stand unions, too, for that very reason. Uh, because especially the nursing, it's all about, you know, um, women and this and women and that. It's like, stop it, go away. You create problems where there wasn't any problem. Yeah, that's what you do. I, and, and the feminist movement is just embarrassing, okay? Like, does anybody remember four years ago? No, longer than that, when Trump first got into office and all those women wearing the vagina hats, it was like, oh, my God, that you're, so, so in, you're embarrassing women. You're, you're, you're making a mockery of women. Yes, you are. And then Obama, or not Obama, um, Madonna got up there at the podium and started talking about blowing up the White House while she's wearing her vagina hat. Yeah, literally, look it up. Um, they, they embarrass women. So that's why I don't identify. I'm a woman. I'm a real woman. I'm not some radical um, man-hating feminist. And that's what I noticed with these radical feminists is they hate men. There's this deep-seated hatred of men inside of them. Yes, they really should They really should explore that and reflect on it um, and maybe stop wearing vagina hats that make you look like total um, fools. Yeah. Not sorry at all. I'm not sorry. I don't identify with that movement. It, it, it is no different than the BLM-created movement that was not grassroots, but it was money-funded. Yes, pay those people to then go radicalize a bunch of people. Same thing Bill Ayers did, right? Yes, it is. When he did Days of Rage in Chicago in the 60s, radicalize a bunch of people. You deserve this. You had this. And, and just then take those people and make fools out of them. I mean, the, the BLM thing just really should, should, should annoy everybody because while they carry on about what's happened to their ancestors, even though it's happened to every race, it's currently happening to every race at the border with open borders. But all those people like nursing unions that carry on about uh, we stand with BLM or the hospitals, they don't care about the current slavery being done to children, do they? No, that's why I can't stand any of these movements. Feminist movement, BLM movement, um, days of rage in the 60s, all designed just to cause havoc on, for everyone, for everyone, because they're, they're miscontent people. They're, they're, just, they're, they're never content unless they have um, stuff they can carry on about. So this brings me to uh, another absolute feminist and an embarrassment to women, in my opinion. E. Jean Carroll, yes, the one that's all over the news right now, that um, supposedly uh, Trump abused her, except it's strange how she came out and said this in 2019, and it happened in the 90s, yeah, and yet um, um, she's saying that, but she, what, she was too afraid, oh, I was too afraid to speak up, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. This woman's not afraid to say anything. She was a columnist. She's up there with that, uh, the, the columnist that she reminds me reading her background of the columnist out of New York that the, the show Sex and the City was based on. Yeah. That Candace Bushnell or whatever her name is. Yeah. She's a columnist uh, like that. She wrote, uh, she had an advice column in uh, the magazine L from 93 to 2019. Yeah. And some of the things she wrote about, well, is um, she had no problem saying anything that came to her her head. Uh, she's. It says here that she. Um, it was widely read. It was acclaimed for Carol's opinions on sex. Her insistence that women should never, never structure their lives around men. 
um, and uh, colleagues have compared um, her writing to putting Carol on a bucking bronco, describing her responses to readers as the cheers and womps and hollers of a fearless woman having a good time. Carol's writing style, which often incorporated humor, has often been described as quirky, cheeky, and irrever irreverent. Yes, so she accused in 2019 um, this of Trump, of course, because these women, they come out of the woodwork, don't they? The minute, you know, and they're always radical feminists, environmentalists, globalists, same thing, and just crazy, crazy. Like the, the when they went after Brett Kavanaugh, the one that's on the Supreme Court justice that Trump appointed, I mean, dragging his whole family through the mud. That woman came out of nowhere, radical left feminist. That's what they always are. Are I mean, like with Clinton, there's actual evidence, okay? His DNA is on a dress, all right? Um, so it says here that, uh, so she made these accusations, and she said, Carol, um, Trump denied the allegations and claimed that he had never met Carol. However, Carol provided new, a New York uh, photograph of her socializing with Trump in 87. Like, these people, all of these people that are rich, and especially if they're famous too, okay? Of course, they, they go to all these events. Everybody gets photographs with them. That doesn't prove shit. Carol initially chose not to describe the alleged sexual assault as rape, instead describing it as a fight. Yes, supposedly he um, had a fight in a dressing room with her. She, now they're saying it's rape, yeah. Except where was she since the 90s, huh? Where's she been? Yeah, that's what I mean. They come out of nowhere because it's not about anything. That's why she's an embarrassment to women. Yeah, blow this up if you want. I don't care. You're an embarrassment to women. Especially if you had you had a, the longest, almost the longest running um, advice columnist in L, and you never disclosed any of this. So, yeah, everything wrong with the world. The people that represent women are a disgrace to women, like the feminist movement. They create more problems that don't need to be there. And the fact of the matter is. They're all, they're all just um, political agitators. That's what they're designed to do. They hate Trump. Every feminist woman would do anything to go after him because he represents some hate that they can then like lash out at. Oh, because of the, the Inside Edition uh, tape, right? Yeah, let's think about what Trump was saying. I, I, I mentioned this before because he didn't do it. He didn't grab anybody. But when he said that when you have a, a lot of fame and a lot of money, you can get away. That's what his point was. You can get away with anything. He didn't say he did, but he said you could. And when and, and I love how ABC is trying to twist this. What a damn radical, you know, these these damn feminist, uh, uh, all these uh, journalists and news people. They're just, they're a disgrace. Um, but they were trying to make this case that when Trump made that statement, he said that um, whether fortunate or unfortunately, I, I'm assaulted. What he, they're trying to twist what he meant by fortunately. What he meant was that some women allow that, you to do that to them. Because if you have a lot of money, then they benefit from it. That's what he meant. Anybody that has a brain should be able to put that together. But, yeah, they're going to do this because they're going to go after him in every single way possible. And yet, this is the type of woman that she she had a whole running article in Elle magazine, but never bothered her. But in 2019, she decided to speak up, right? Yeah. And she's a feminist. This is why I can't stand the feminists. So, yeah. Um, totally different kinds of women there. They hate men. They they, they, they rally, uh, wear vagina hats, rally. They want to kill their babies and they should have the right to. And uh, all of it, the vagina hats, women coming out lying like this one are all just a disgrace because they're nothing but political agitators, no different than Bill Ayers.